Here is the body of Katasach. Could you examine it and tell us what you make of his wounds? Of course. This won't be the first time I've examined a corpse. We note a great number of large blunt force contusions covering the entire surface of the victim's body. None of the wounds could be attributed to a blade or a spear, nor are there any visible bullet entry points. Practically every bone has been broken in multiple places. The rib cage was torn open and then collapsed. The open wound reveals multiple perforations of the vital organs. Here, the borders of the wounds have been singed. The flesh is blackened, exposed to a flame, no doubt. And we also note several patches of mineral residue. They seem oddly out of place in spite of the exotic insular origin of our deceased. I would be hard pressed to tell you which of the wounds proved to be the fatal blow, but one thing is certain. He was smashed violently by a giant rock that was without a doubt on fire. Yes. These wounds are similar to those given by a heated cannon shot, though in a less regular fashion. The dead soldiers we found had identical wounds. As crazy as this may sound, whoever is responsible for this attack is capable of wielding molten rock. In any other circumstance, your conclusion would qualify you for an asylum. But I stand on the side of the improbable. The native's powers reside outside the body of knowledge we possess. I can't imagine an Adaic behaving like this. It is not that way. That they might attack careless hunters or warriors, true, but to attack Katasach. The power to call volcano fires could only be that of a guardian. No simple man wields mountain fire. We still don't really know who is actually behind this attack, nor what they want. Judging by the severity of these wounds, I fear the worst for Constantine. All your experiments. You've learned so little. You've learned to fear. Your instincts should have been enough. We had to at least try. Are you not even concerned? Or angered by what happened to Katasach? We've grown accustomed to the loss of lives and incessant treacheries. All the same, there is truth in your words. This attack is out of place. Guardian and Donegat would never attack one another. There is a ritual that might help us. Anatalas Fair. The Anatalas Fair? What is it? Tell me more. It is a magical rite that only a person with a powerful bond to both spirits and nature can perform. It allows the Donegad who chants it to relive the last moments of an Onol Manawi. That would allow us to at least see the face of his assassin. If what I have heard is true, yes. To my knowledge, only one Donegad still living knows the ritual. Let's ask her for her help, then. She might be able to tell us what has become of Constantine. You are quick to ask another to put her mind in danger for your own concerns. Imagine the pain of the wounds of another, shaking your body as the cold of death crushes your beating heart. This is what you must ask of the Tiernahach. It is the price she must pay for performing the ritual. When her companion was lost in battle, fighting against your own, she wanted to live that death beside her. Since that day, our Tiernahach Kedachtas has never breathed air with the same breath. That would explain her distrust of the Colonials. You must make her see your purpose. It may be the only way you are going to learn the fate of your cousin.
Hello, Mev. Renoixe, why have you come here again? I've come to ask you for help. My help? You still seek the remedy for the sickness on your island? Or are you looking for something else? My cousin has been taken, and I've been told that you could help me. Truly? And in what way? By performing the Anatalus Fair on... Zach is dead. Under Vosh-Dire. This is a great tragedy. He was a good man. Perhaps the best of us all. How did this happen? He went with my cousin to a sacred site when they were attacked. My cousin has disappeared, taken, according to a witness. And Katasak suffered terrible wounds. We examined him, and it seemed as if he had been struck by molten rock. Fire of the Earth? Only the Nadaig Manaemon have the power to wield it. But none of our own would have attacked Katasak. This is why we need your help. We want to understand and to find who's responsible. And you will avenge the dead as you have avenged my wound in the past. Very well, Renoixi. I will help you. And I also wish to gain understanding. Our island wails in suffering. Many Sinolmenawi have died. The Anatalas Fair may kill me, but at least I will know. You will need to act as my Voglendaig and bring to me the necessary ingredients while I prepare. What do you require? A potion. And listen and remember, or write in your language what I shall tell you. Do not forget, the viscera of the scavengers must be taken from a place near the battlefield, because they contain the flesh of those who fell. As for the personal object of Katasakh, find his weapon because it knew his fury and his despair. He didn't have a weapon when I found his body. I'll search the battlefield. Where can I find him? In Doren's camp. She recovered him after the battle. Very well. Not far from there is a sacred circle. You'll find me there when you have united all that I need. Then we can perform the ritual when the moon is high. In that case, let's go together to the ritual site. The place of the attack is not far from Duren's camp. Very well. I'll follow you.
I recognize this weapon. It's Catasax, I'm certain. It must have been broken during the battle. Let's take it back to Mev. Were you able to find the elements I need for the ritual? Yes. Here is what you asked me to bring. This is good. But the moon is not yet high enough. Would you like to wait with me? Yes. I'll keep you company. Sit then in that case. And remain silent. 
I must meditate. Katasar, we have come to learn the truth of your death. Ato al konfrangawi brandi, olehana memen adestame haman. Bara vriden anta hanemo kwate grenpen, linkui dam da renau te da hodos. Lemat, de ta hawan kloisam, de ta lugedon velam, de ta ragam buledam, de ta tamenam reloidan. Adot alamun kante bei dam en antelam per frag tangom. Katasak, help me, please. Show no fear. I do not think he means you any harm. What is this? This monster? Why is it attacking us? I don't know. I don't understand. It is as if it seeks you out. It wants you. You never should have done that, Katasar. To save one, Renaikse, you put us all in great peril. His spirit is different. He receives badly. You have woven the bond of the Deathbringer. What is happening to you? Get a hold of yourself. Come on. Uh. I cannot believe it. He has returned. Who has? Finbar. The High King. We thought he was dead. He disappeared months ago. Is he the attacker? And what of Constantine? Have you seen a young, blonde-haired man? He was sickly. Yes. The golden haired was there. And he was afraid. Katasakh protected him before he was killed by Finbar. Leave me now. I am very tired. How are you feeling? Better. What are you going to do now? If I want to have any hope of finding Constantine, I must follow Vinbar. I have no choice. Do you know where to look for him? Vinbar has been missing for moons. The kings and queens could tell me when they saw him for the last time. Then you must earn their trust. Arm yourself with patience and courage on all Manawi. Your journey is still long. Thank you, Mev. You have helped us greatly. Do not thank me. I have not done this for you, but for Katasakh. In order to satisfy my curiosity, I betrayed my king. You will find him and confront him, no doubt. All that remains for me to do is to pray that I have done nothing that cannot be fixed. Farewell.
What do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I'm in need of your help, Ulan. I'm looking for your High King Vinbar. I was told that you were one of the last people to see him. <laughs> I wouldn't know where you could find him. He disappeared moons ago. But you are our ally. Our friend. I will tell you about the last time I met with him. We had met in the Council at Dorhad Genadu to decide what to do about the Renaigse. But we were unable to come to an understanding. Some of us are full of violence and refuse to see what we gain by befriending your kind. Deirdre and the poor Bladnid were among them, alas, and only speak about the massacres. I defended you, of course, and attempted to make them hear reason with some help from the cautious Dunkas. But our disagreement angered Vimbar. He decided to leave us and to seek counsel elsewhere. He wanted to go to the heart of the island to consult with En on Milfrichtiman. Do you think he might have stayed there? I doubt it. It was too long ago. You should travel to Wenshavar, his village. Even if he decided to stay away from his people, he would not have abandoned his closest friends. Thank you, Ulan. Anything else? Nothing. I must go.
Birzd Tiltomad on Almanawi. Esquetu. Hello. I'm sorry, but I do not speak your language. Really? Then you are a Renaigze. I have never met one with the bond. Might I do something for you? What can you tell me about your village? Winshavar means the water of the peaks in our language. The sky is our roof, the mountain our cradle, and the birds our companions. They offer us their feathers that we weave with wool to make clothing that is appreciated by the Donegada. And also, of course, it is the village that has given birth to the one chosen for our Hoi King for many cycles. Anything else? What can you tell me about the High King? You must know him well. He is a great Donigad. Wise, just, and through him, the En On Mil Frictimen makes their voice be known. But he has been gone for several moons. What the mountain gives us, sometimes it takes away. And I, for one, believe that the mountain has taken him back. Anything else? Tell me about Sarah. She is a ferocious warrior. And like I told you, she is the Menundanem, the companion of the Hoi King. They gave themselves one to the other many cycles ago, and their bond is very strong. Perhaps that is why she has left. Because she no longer could bear his absence. Anything else? Tell me about Sarah. She they gave themselves one to the other. Many perhaps that is why she has left. Anything else? I am looking to find Vinbar. The High King of Tirfredi, and I was told that he was born in this village. He disappeared after visiting the heart of the island, but I was hoping someone here might know where he's hiding. You should speak with Sarah. She is the companion of our king. Where might I find her? I do not know. She left the village, and I have not seen her in several days. Anything else? Goodbye. What hour am I It is rare to see Renaixe here. Is there something I can do for you? I'm looking for High King Vinbar. I know that he disappeared after having visited the heart of the island. But someone here in this village might know where he went after that. If anyone knows, it would be Sarah. But you will not find her here. Anything else? Would you know where I could find Sarah? She left to follow Vimbar. She wanted the mountains to take her as well. What do you mean? I don't know if Renaixe could understand. Our High King is on Olmenawi, and the Donegad. His bond with the mountain is very strong. Even stronger now that he speaks with the En Olmil Frichtimen. Do you mean to say that he is becoming one of those giant creatures? This phenomenon is truly incredible. I would so like to understand how it works. Seda knew that the mountain would take him back, and she wanted the mountain to take her as well. She went to attempt to bond herself to it. She sought the cavern of knowledge. We haven't seen her since. 
She might have succeeded. Anything else? Where is this cavern of knowledge located? We don't know. The caverns of knowledge are the concern of the Donegada. Anything else? What can you tell me about your village? Wenshevar is a place of peace and meditation. The troubles with the Renaikse are far from here. We weave feathers, and we do not interfere with the problems on the plains. It seems strange that one of your own became High King. It was because of his wisdom that he was chosen. In a time where those from the faraway islands were not yet here. Anything else? You must know the High King Vinbar. What can you tell me about him? He was one of the greatest Donegada. Wise amongst the wise. But the arrival of the Renaikse troubled him. He was afraid that you would be like the people of the sea. He traveled the island far and wide, saw the other kings and queens, and consulted the other Donegada. And then he spent more and more time speaking with En on Milfrichtimen. He moved away from us until we hardly saw him at all. Anything else? You seem to be close to Sarah. Could you tell me about her? She is my friend. She is a great warrior. One of the village's greatest protectors. But her love for Vimbar is stronger than our friendship. And stronger than her duties to the village. I am afraid for her, Renaixi. Afraid of what she might do in order not to lose him. Because she is untamable. And when she makes her mind about something, she does not change it. Anything else? Thank you for your help. Gwaaulemsek. Too mad. Renaixe. Might I do something for you? I heard talk about a cavern of knowledge. It is a place where the Donegada go, within the earth. They hear the voices of those that went before them, and they learn. There are some on Tiafradi. The closest to our village is found to the northeast of here. But the entrance is sealed, hidden. It is a sacred place, a place for only the Donegada. Anything else? Goodbye. What well, I want
Come <laughs> on! 